Hi and welcome to the Sage50 Accounts integration video. This video is going to show you how to integrate an online platform with Sage50 Accounts inside Trebox One. The Sage50 Accounts integration process in Trebox One is identical for all channels, whether it's an eBay channel, an Amazon channel, an e-commerce website channel, or a simple CSV channel. In this video, we're going to use a CSV channel to demonstrate the integration process. Trebox One is compatible with all iterations of Sage50 Accounts from version 15 onwards, including Sage 50 Essentials, Sage 50C, and Sage 50 Cloud accounts. For more in-depth guidance, come to the Tradebox website, choose Integrations, Sage 50, and you'll find other videos and articles on this page. The Channels module in the software is where integrations are created to online platforms like eBay, Amazon, or e-commerce websites or any other platform that can provide a compatible CSV feed of orders. Once a channel has been created, it can be integrated to an accounts package. Before we can start the integration, we need to ensure some settings have been established in Sage 50. Under settings and access rights, we need to ensure that a username of TB user and TB service has been set up in Sage 50. Full instructions on configuring Sage 50 to use with Trebox can be found on the Trebox website by selecting support, installation and getting started, and the configuring Sage for use with Trebox 1 article. When Sage has been configured, come back to Trebox and in the channels module, double click on the channel. Then select the Sage 50 tab. In the connection screen, choose the Sage company from the drop down list. Then complete the passwords for the TB user and TB service usernames created in Sage earlier. Then click on Connect to Sage. The first section in the Account Setup Wizard is the Posting screen. The Currency section shows the currency this channel is set to download in and the currency to post to Sage 50 in. If the channel is set to download foreign currency sales, the user can post to Sage 50 in the native currency or convert to GBP. The Sales Posting section allows the user to establish what type of transactions they wish to create in Sage 50. If stock movement is required in Sage 50, the user must choose to create either individual product invoices or individual sales orders. If stock movement is not required, the user can choose to create individual service invoices in Sage 50. Alternatively, the Batch Invoice option allows the user to create summary entries directly into the customer account record in Sage bypassing the invoice module altogether. A number of further options appear on the right hand side of the screen, which become active depending upon the type of transaction chosen to create in Sage. All of these options are covered in detail in the article base on the Trebox website. When this screen is complete, choose Next. The customer screen provides options on how to handle customer records in Sage 50. The most popular option is to allocate all channel sales to a single existing customer record in Sage 50. In this example, we can allocate all of our downloaded web sales to a single generic customer in Sage called Shopify. Alternatively, users can choose to create individual customer account records in Sage 50 for each unique buyer. If this option is chosen, the user can establish how the customer account reference in Sage should be created and what it should be based upon. Choosing the creation of individual custom records in Sage will also activate further options on the right hand side of the screen. Again, all of these options are covered in detail in the article base on the Trebox website. The nominal screen allows the user to decide where on the Sage nominal ledger the order value should be posted. Options exist to report income from sales and carriage to separate nominals, as well as a third option which covers any other income that may exist on an order, for example gift wrapping. If a user has chosen to create product invoices or sales orders, the default behavior of Trebox is to report the sales income to the nominal code allocated to the product record in Sage. This can be overridden by selecting the override product nominal code. This screen also allows the user to report sales and carriage income to departments in Sage 50. EU and rest of world sales can also be reported to different nominals and departments in Sage 50. The receipt screen allows the user to decide whether to mark the invoices created in Sage as paid or unpaid 
by allocating a sales receipt to the invoice or leaving this option as none. If invoices are marked as paid, users have the option to allocate different payment methods to different bank accounts in Sage 50. The shipping screen allows the user to decide how to display the carriage charged to the buyer on the invoice in Sage. The user can choose to display the carriage cost to the buyer in the footer of the invoice or as an item line on the body of the invoice. The tax code screen shows the tax codes that have been set up in Tradebox, their rates and the tax code they've been mapped to in Sage 50. The last screen in the accounts wizard is the field screen. This displays the data that will be presented against the different fields in the Sage customer records and invoices created by Tradebox. This screen also allows the user to customise data published to the invoice or customer record in Sage. Upon completion of the wizard, choose the finish button. If Tradebox has been configured to accept Sage as the master stock control, a prompt box will appear after clicking finish, asking the user if they wish to import products from Sage. If this has not already been done, choose yes. At the end of the product import, a copy of all of the Sage product records will appear in the Tradebox product module. Selecting the mappings button will display the product mapping relationship between the online SKU and the Sage stock code. By default, Tradebox assumes these are identical. If this is not the case, the mappings can be edited in Tradebox or the mappings can be exported to CSV, amended and re-imported back into Tradebox. If Tradebox downloads an order with an online SKU that doesn't match a stock code in Sage, the order will be placed into query until the mapping is corrected or the product added to Sage 50. To start importing sales and posting to Sage, go back to the channel section, select the channel and choose the activate button. As orders are downloaded and posted to Sage, the invoice number allocated by Sage will appear against each order in the orders module of Tradebox. In this video, all of the invoices were created in Sage 50 with the status of unposted to the ledgers. Until the invoices are manually posted in Sage 50, the stock records will remain at a quantity of 1000 and no entries will be visible against the bank or the nominal ledger. Manually posting the invoices in Sage will trigger these movements. Now that the invoices have been posted, we can see in the products module, the quantity in stock has shifted and we have values in the bank accounts in Sage. If you wish the invoices to be automatically posted to the ledger, go to the channel section, double click on the channel, go to the Sage 50 section and under options, choose the update invoice to ledgers button, then click on save. All of the subjects covered in this video can be found on the Tradebox website by clicking on Support, Integration Guides and choosing Setting up a Sage Accounts link.